there. I'm so glad you are here at uh, your attitude attitude adjustment today. So um, this is a special time of day because we can just get together and paint and enjoy each other's company. And I hope you'll speak up and say hi if you're um, if you're there. So today we're going to continue our painting project that we started day before yesterday and it's going to be a sunflower pillow. Let me show you what it looks like if you haven't seen it before. Many of you are right in the middle of the project and it's kind of big because this is a little bigger than I would like to make it but it's a, this is a fun pillow to make and we're going to get started because I'm not going to keep you here all day. I know you got other things to do. Uh, if you haven't had a I want you to have your iPhone ready, so if you need to, need to take a uh, screenshot of something, you'll have your camera available. Um, so, uh, like for instance, if you need to get a copy of the painting supplies for this project, uh, just speak up and let me know. And uh, hey Maureen, um, also, I wanted to show you this. You'll enjoy this, Maureen. I don't know whether you'll be able to make out the people. But this is a class that we have done before uh, on the pillow tops, just like that. I think it was really a lot of fun. And uh, let me lift it up a little bit so you can see it. You might see some people you recognize. Uh, but it was a great class. It was a lot of fun. And sunflower pillow. Oh, there it is. There's a little better to see. Um, I'd identify them, but there could be, a, um, what do you say, witness protection thing going on, maybe. So, I won't tell you who's in there. I'm just kidding. That isn't the case. Um, also, uh, let me see. We're going to be uh, getting into our project. Uh, I'm going to be putting some paint in the tray. As you, I'm going to show you the, well, you, I'm going to show you. Uh, what we worked on yesterday. Now, uh, what's kind of an, an unusual about this, I don't know whether you'll find yours to be the case, but mine is off-centered a little bit. So I'm going to begin by putting a cup on here. I told you I use crazy things to make shapes. And I'm just gonna put a mark on here with a, I've got a, a white charcoal pencil. I'll just make a circle and this is gonna be the center of the sunflower. And that'll just show me where I wanna paint that's kind of in the center of, of the flower. Uh, does that sound, hey, hey Amanda, does that sound uh, reasonable to you? And I'm gonna put a few paints in here. Uh, hopefully I won't boo-boo and knock everything over today. But um, we're gonna put a couple of colors on here like I have um, a brown, I'm going to put a little bit of orange. Um, I have put the, the uh, placed the pillow top uh, on the table with some plastic inserted in, in the pillowcase so that if there is any bleeding through, it isn't going to, you won't be able to see it. So um, if you want to do that, I'm going to put a little bit of brown, light brown. Uh, probably a little bit of orange and not very much needed. And I'll put a little bit of, um, <laughs> so that's where we're going to be painting is in this center area here. Um, I put a masking tape, uh, the artist tape down on the sides so that my pillow wouldn't be shifting around and moving while I was painting. Uh, just to go over what we talked about yesterday, I'm going to be using a couple of brushes. Uh, I'm going to be using a round brush today to put um, the uh, flower petals on. And then I'm going to be using maybe a flat brush. Uh, I have a couple of small brushes that I'll use for detailing. And I have maybe a liner brush for something. And I'm also going to be using a Sharpie, and that's what we sign our painting with at the bottom of the, uh, oh yeah, we're artists, we got to sign it. So um, anyway, uh, let me see, anything else? Uh, I've got a couple of cups of water, 
and um, different paints. Uh, I'm going to, hmm, I don't know, Meg. Is everyone else seeing the uh, screen okay? Somebody's having problems. Anyway, um, are you seeing the screen okay, Maureen? I'm gonna put another color in here too, kind of a gold. We're gonna go ahead. Oh, I think that was the same color I'd put in there. Oh, and there's another color too. I just kind of like, okay, thank you. I'm glad you got in. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to just kind of roughly paint the middle part of the, and then we'll go ahead and we'll fix it up with the petals later. Um, but I found that that's the best way to start doing this. Um, I'm just going to use um, a couple of different colors. Hey, did everybody get their, oh, my glasses. Um, did everybody get the supply list needed? Okay, and we're just going to go around in this circle and doesn't have to be beautiful yet. It's going to get beautiful. In fact, we I went to this guy that uh, painted our motor home uh, where some scratches were. And you know what he said to us was, this is in Alabama. He says, it's going to be ugly before you can get it be pretty. So anyway, that's the way it goes sometimes. And that's the way it is in this uh, painting business, isn't it? Um, Sometimes I hate to show people some of my work uh, while I'm right in the middle of it uh, because it changes. It has a transformation. So go ahead and be painting this. Uh, if there are any questions, please let me know. Um, just gonna kind of outline this a little bit darker on the edges. It doesn't matter if you go out of line in my class. It doesn't matter. Um, you can do anything. But it's going to start looking like a sunflower shortly. And that plastic sheet underneath will keep this from bleeding through. I can hardly see the lines that I put in there for uh, to keep it from bleeding, but it's working. So I hope you all have had a good day. Hi, Amy. So this is a beginner project, um, but it turns out to look like an intermediate project. Uh, I'm going to wash my brush a little bit and we're gonna start putting some yellows in here. I'll come back to that. I've got to finish it off. I've got to come back, but we've got the basics of the middle of the sunflower. Now, I'm gonna put some, let me see, I'll place this here so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I've got some yellow. Actually, this one is called um, bright yellow. It's almost like a school bus yellow. Um, I have um, a canary yellow, because I like to put a whole bunch of yellows on my sunflowers. They're not one color, if you didn't notice. My sunflowers aren't one color. And I'll just put a little uh, orange off to the side, because I might use that. And then I'm gonna put a whole bunch of white down here to lighten up areas. Let me see if there's anything else I need there. Okay, we'll do the leaves a little bit later. Now, I'm gonna use the br round brush. Oh, I'm not keeping you here all day either, and I see I've gone on for about 10 minutes. So if any of you need to leave, just let me know what uh, you need to make up. Okay, we're gonna take, um, and this is how we're gonna do this, in case you have to leave. First off, I'm gonna get a bigger brush, because I think I'm gonna need it. I'll use the uh, smaller round brush uh, as I finish this up, but 
I'm going to go in and just, I kind of mix my colors together um, while I'm doing it. Uh, I'm going to start with pressure up at the top and then come down to meet the flower. But I always start this at the top. Okay? Now, you don't have to worry about that paint. Just kind of smooth it out. And we're going to go around the entire... I'm going to leave some room between each petal because I'll come back and fill it in with some other stuff. But You see how the... They can be different widths because they are. In real life, they are, right? Oh, let me put you here. There. That might help. Is everybody with me? And when it, with these blank spaces here, we'll go back and we'll fix those later. We've done the most... Um, important thing right now and that is around the outline of it just to give it some color and dimension and uh, we'll put in some little petals later cool isn't it okay i didn't mean to do that Okay, just want to make sure everybody is seeing what I'm seeing. If you're not, say something. Um, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make it over here. We started having a lot of lightning and I wasn't going to go out to come over here. I'm in our clubhouse in the activities room right now. Um, and uh, you know, you hear so much about lightning striking that... Um, Kind of scares you. There. Okay. So just keep painting until you get all the way around. Um, what I was going to say, though, is next Monday we'll be leaving to go um, to travel for the rest of the summer and not be back until October. But we're going, I'm taking all of you on the road with me, so you don't have to pack. You just got to be here. And I'll tell you what we're doing. Well, actually, next week I know what we're going to be doing uh, while I'm on the road. Um, I'm going to show you, um, and you can be shopping around for this. I'll show you the dish later in the week. Um, but we're going to be painting, uh, or we're going to do acid etching on a Pyrex di dish. you got a lot of holidays coming up where you're going to need gifts. And let's go ahead and make some more, put some more paint on this. I can see it's kind of drabby looking. And we'll just go ahead and do that. How's your flower going? Does it look like a flower yet? Um, there. There. So anyway, um, thank you very much for coming today, and I have got to get this um, camera. There. I'm so mechanical. I'm not. Uh-oh. There. Okay. Now I'm going to take a smaller round brush and start filling in the petal, the other, the smaller petals. If you don't have a smaller round brush with you, fine, just use what you got. I know some of you people might remember this class. I don't know whether I'll 
um, when the paint is so wet, sometimes it doesn't go on as like you want it to. And we're going to straighten out all of this stuff going on here, so don't worry about that. I'm going to put a little bit of orange in some places just to give it a little color, a little sunshine. So Meg and Susan. Hey Pat. Um, I know there were some people from Long Island that were going to be here today. If you could just speak up and what, say where you're from. Uh, maybe not speak up, but write up. Now, you can go back and finish some of this later. And what I'm saying about finishing it is you can go back and just kind of touch up some areas that you think yours is missing. And we're going to go back now and I'll, I've, I'm going to come back in a little bit and just touch it up a little bit. Maybe put a little more color in some areas that it will just brighten the pillow. So, anyway, let's go back to the browns. I'm gonna wash my brush and I'm gonna try to keep this under, seven, uh, under 20 minutes today, but it's real important uh, for me to give you just a little bit of direction about where to go next with this because we're gonna be finishing up what this looks like. Oh. What that looks like, you can't see it. There. That's what I was trying to do, but I'm kind of hard-headed. Okay, so you can see this a little bit. It seems to be off-center, but it's not. This is right in the center of my um, project. Now I'm going to get a little bit of browns, a little bit of... The dark brown is gonna look real good around the edge here. Y'all are so quiet. Okay, everybody's just intent on finishing, I think. We probably won't finish it today. In fact, I need to let this dry a little bit uh, so we can do some heat pressing tomorrow when we finish it. That will set the acrylics so that um, I'm gonna put a little bit of orange in here because that's the way it is. And Okay. In fact, I think I'll put a little bit of, I need a little lighter color here. going to take a smaller brush whoop, whoop, yep, smaller brush and I'm going to put some little dots and things in the middle here I hope you can see it because it it looks like sunflower seeds sometimes I use a dauber but I didn't have one small enough today I could have used a cotton ball
see that really does make it stand out a little bit more and it finishes it off. I thought I had paint on my arm. Let me see what you're seeing. I'm just going to make some shadowy looks in here uh, by using a light brown that's mixed with a little white. Uh, my classes at, uh, for Artitude Adjustment usually last about two and a half hours. And in that time, we have a lot of fun and uh, everybody just gets to know each other very well. So I'm hoping if you keep coming back here, you're going to see that the same people are here. They will be. Let me see. How do you find out what project will be in the supplies needed in advance? Also, what time and when the last lesson's at? Pat, I'm going to be doing this every day about 3 o'clock, um, unless I announce otherwise. Um, it, even when we're on the road, I, you know, if we have a signal, uh, I can get somewhere where there is a signal usually and do my live, but I have uh, everything with me because that's why we need an 18-wheeler, and we're in our car, but uh, it'll be about three in the afternoons, uh, and you can always catch it later. I have a YouTube channel, and all of these lives are on the YouTube channel. Um... I will announce before the project, well, like this project that we're doing right now, I had a list uh, that I uh, printed up and everybody could take a screenshot of what supplies they needed. It's gonna be kind of like, this is kind of new to me too, doing the tutorials. I've always done them live in, um, uh, at, at rallies. And so a lot of you I've met all over the United States at rallies and um, so this doing it uh, on social media is new to me, but I'm really glad to do it. And it, it's gonna make it a lot easier for me to come up with some new projects that uh, y'all may not have ever seen before. And in the meantime, if you do see some things that, uh, you know, while I'm traveling, you say, hi, I just saw this and it's really sweet. Send me an idea and we might do it while I'm on the road. I paint on the road. I, um, and I do, the acid etching is going to be an easy project because I can do it uh, on the coach. And while we're waiting for the acid to etch, I might make something for us to eat. But anyway, y'all are all coming with me, so just, um, we're going to have a good time. So, uh, Liz, does that answer? Yeah, I will be letting you know all the supplies you needed in advance. In fact, uh, Wednesday... I'm a senior. Every day is Friday. Every night is Saturday night. I mean, that's just the way we do it. So, um, but I am going to be uh, showing you a lot of different painting projects, and we'll be doing, you know, we just finished with the alcohol ink project. Did y'all like that? Yeah, I knew it. Um, so, just kind of like play with this a little while now. Um, let me show you the uh, what we've needed for this pack. Um, this, uh, for, for this project, we needed a 16 by 16 pillow. Uh, they are at Hobby Lobby for $4.99, and you got your 40% coupon there. Uh, I would prefer you get a 16 by 16. This 20 by 20 is very hard to manage. Uh, the, and get an 18 by 18 pillow insert. Uh, I like it full. And the acrylic paints are orange, yellow, brown, black, greens, and golds. So um, let me see if you can see that better. Uh, blue masking tape. You need paint brushes, water, soap, paper towels, paint plate. And like, I'll give you a chance to take a picture so that you can use that as a guide when I'm not there. I'm not looking at the camera, sorry. Um, you can use that as a guide because uh, uh, you may not, I may not be live and you may be working on your project so it just helps you. Anyway, 
I really appreciate all of you being here today. Uh, like uh, it's at my, my class that I teach is called Artitude Adjustment, and um, I'm Marty Whitney. So I hope you'll be back again. Look, I only went almost 26 minutes, and I'm sorry that I took that much time, but I could paint all day. This is art therapy. So enjoy your day and please come back. I'll be, I'll see you tomorrow at 3 p.m. Uh, unless something happens and it isn't going to happen. So uh, see you guys later. Bye-bye.